Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is 2 Peter 3, verse 17, and it says this. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure position. Right before this verse, the apostle Peter warns the believers that the day of the Lord approaches fast, meaning every day that comes and goes is just one day closer to Jesus' second coming. He reminds, he reminds them to make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and be at peace with God, and to be secure in your salvation. Lastly, he warns them about unstable and ignorant people who take the word of God and distort it, which Peter says is to their own destruction. His warning to us is that we should never be caught off guard. That we should never be caught off guard and swept away by the sins and false teachings of the world and the people around us. In other words, Christian, just don't put yourselves in compromising positions of any kind. Don't let love for money be your motivation, like it is for those who don't know Jesus. Instead, live for Christ and for the mission. Don't let lust take control and lead you astray. Instead, confess your sins and put up every boundary so you don't fall into temptation. Don't let false teaching and false doctrine enter into your life. Instead, be in the Word and know the Bible as well as you can. Be in a community who comes together to discuss God's word and keep your thoughts accountable to the scriptures. Verse 17 tells us not to give in to the ways of godless people so we don't lose our secure position. Now I'm curious, what do you think he means by secure position? I believe it's kind of a twofold meaning. Number one, he could be talking about our salvation. Don't backslide out of your salvation by once again becoming a slave to sin. To be honest, we really don't have time to get into the theological debate about once saved, always saved, or predestination, so we'll save that for another time. But I think the second meaning of our secure position actually has to do with our witness and testimony about the gospel. Here's what I mean. A Christian who is thriving in any community with believers or non-believers is someone who is able to share their witness and testimony about the life-changing power of the gospel. Your life, past, present, and future will be that testimony, and your everyday actions is what people will determine whether that gospel change is real or not. A Christian in a secure position in their community is one who is able to model that change well. And when we give in to sin or backslide back into a life of lawlessness and sin, we're actually disrupting people's view of the gospel and their view of Jesus. So what does this mean for us? What should we do? Number one, be honest and genuine. If you're backsliding into sin, if you're tempted by the ways of the world, go get honest with somebody as soon as possible. The Bible tells us to confess our sins to one another and then to pray for one another. So after you get honest with yourself, get honest with a fellow believer, pray for each other. Don't try to fix one another, at least not yet. First and foremost, pray for one another. The second thing is this, be on your guard. Know what scripture says. Know what is right, know what is wrong. Don't be ignorant. As Ephesians 6 says, put on the full armor of God so you may be able to stand your ground that is against sin and the spiritual forces working against you, your character, and your witness. Lastly, 2 Peter 3.18, the verse right after today's passage says this, Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory, both now and forever. Amen. And that's it. Have your focus be on Jesus. He is the most important thing that we have to share with the world around us. So learn as much as you can about Jesus. Be in love with Jesus. Trust Jesus. If all you had in life was knowledge of him, you would have everything. And that's why we want to do everything we can to not distort others' views of Jesus. If we lovingly stand our ground for biblical truth and people don't like that, that's different than someone looking at a Christian backslide into sin and think to themselves, this gospel thing must not be as powerful or as true as they say it is. So let's not corrupt people's views of the truth. And as I close today, remember this. Don't put yourselves in a position to be swept away by the errors and sins of the people and world around you. Because your position of influence and witness for the gospel is more important. God bless Calvary. Have an awesome day.